Hello guys, so this is the workflow I used to make this Listerine border. So I have a new file open and I'm just going to drag my assembly into it and I'm going to leave this on, I'll uncheck the camera and geometry appearance and automatic click OK. And once my part loads and that is what it looks like now, first the first thing I'm going to do is snap to floor and under the preview i'm going to enable the reflection and floor shadow and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to load the camera that i made which is just um i found a good camera that i like i'm just going to load that it's this listerine so my final render is going to be in this view so on this on this tab I think we are done with everything so the next one is appearance and the, the appearance that I added in SOLIDWORKS came in and all I did is I tweaked it a little bit and I'll show you what the settings that I have so I'm just going to go into my new into the library and I saved it under the Listerine folder so I'm just going to add it the cap the cap I really didn't change the cap and the body and I will show you what the settings for the body once I add the things I need to add. So what I can do right now is go back into my appearance, that body, I'm going to hide it for now. So that liquid is revealed and I'm going to go back into that library and I'm going to add this liquid to it. So now I'm going to go back into my, my appearance and right click uh, right click and show all so that is what it looks like now and um, so to show you the settings let me right click and delete all the appearance that I'm using the cap came in the same way from SOLIDWORKS so for the body I just have glass material which it came in that way the only thing I change is the IOR to 2 and color density to 300 and for the liquid is also the same thing glass the IOR I change it to 1.33 and the color density is 250 and for the color I just I think I use the color dropper to pick the color that matches what I what I was going for and that is what I did and as you can see it looks pretty good and the next thing we can do now is let me go back go into my scene and just load this chrome studio actually works good with this but i also have a, a scene that i made i'm just going to load that so i'm going to click load and i'm going to go into my my file and this listerine i'm going to add that and just a second and now and it looks a little much better than the the chrome studio so i'm going to use this and the next thing is under our appearance we can start adding the decal so let's um right click on or we'll set new decal and i'm going to browse to the part where i saved the decal so mr rain border and browse here and i'm going to grab this decal so all i did is i found this image on on google and i just cut it out to the decal and that's all i did and i always use photoshop to make those changes and i'm going to make this into preview mode so that way it is easy to add the decal to it so i'm just going to drag this decal on that face and i'm going to turn up my object manipulation to select that and I'm just going to scale it down so I have something like that let's scale it down some more and remove it move it down and scale it down some more and move it down maybe I'll scale it up a little bit so we get something like that and I just move this up and for the decal, the only thing is this, we need to change it to 0 0.02 so that way it doesn't clip to the back and I need to add the decal for this face so I'm just going to 
right click new decal and I'm going to grab select that and click open and I'm going to drag that to this face and once again I'm just going to scale it down like so and I'll just move it to the right location move it maybe somewhere around there move it and for the decal because as you can see is reflecting on the back I'm going to change that to 0 0.02 and move it a little bit this way and move it down and if I go back into the accurate mode as you can see that is what it looks like now and the next thing I'm going to do is I can now make the three version of this this Listerine border and to do that I'm going to select maybe a ton of my object manipulation to select that Listerine and select Control C Control V Control V and I'll copy it three times and once I've done that I'll select all three parts by holding the control key and select all three parts and under this formation I'll select line and I want to space that 0 0.05 so I space that with 0 0.05 so that's what I want for now then what I can do is go into the camera I'm just going to refresh this camera so we see what's in it I'm just going to copy that camera Control C Control V and now I'm going to select this new camera because I'm trying to do something with this view and I'm going to click on view show camera panel and on that camera I think I want to select the side view so I have something like that so I now want to grab the this Listerine and let me just go back into my camera to make sure which one I need to be grabbing so let me select so I want to grab that one and the first one and the second one so okay so I'm gonna go back into this camera and I am going to under the model tab I want to select this two and turn up my object manipulation to and I just want to pull it pull them back a little bit like so so they are not touching so something like that so now when I go back to this view it looks something like that so you can see they are on the back and they aren't so I've pulled them to the back that's exactly what I want so I can hide this now and the next thing I want to do is go back into my appearance so what I can do is delete this the decal on this and I'll delete that decal I also delete this and I also delete that so all I did is this blue color I copied them over and I just changed the color to um, whatever I want on this side but because I already made it I'm going to add those color to it so what I can do is hide the body for now I'm going to hide that part and now I'm going to go into my library where I've saved those color so this is the purple one and this is the original brand and now I can go back into my appearance and right click and show all so and we almost done so the next thing we need to do now is to just add the the decals to this too so we will we go back into the preview mode again and right click and select new decal and I want to select this one open and right click again new decal I want to scrap that one open I'm going to drag that to that face and select it and scale it down and just scale it down pull it down here 
I'll scale it some more. I can scale it up, pull it, scale it up, and pull it, something like that. And you can also change the values over here too. So, so until I have something like that, and maybe pull it up, and I'm going to change the decal there to 0 0.02 so it doesn't clip and I'm going to grab this put it on that face and this do the same thing it's pretty much the same process just going to work on it real fast so I don't take too much of your time scale it down maybe scale it up and change the decal depth to 0 0.02 and pull this somewhere over there So now we want to do this for this one so we are the decal again new decal and we want to select the purple one okay new decal select that one and okay I'm going to drag it to that face click it and scale it down and so get something like that I'll pull it maybe scale it down some more Pull this down, scale it up. I can pull this up and move it to the side. And we change this to 0 0.02. And we want to drag this one again to that face and repeat. This is the last one we are going to be doing. And just scale it down. And pull it down. And the decal depth is also 0 0.02. And move this over and drop it down until we have something like that. I know it's not really straight now. I'm just showing you the workflow to make it. Uh, you just spend time adjusting it to whatever you want. So now, if I go back into the accurate mode, as you can see what it looks like. And now, what I can do is add this um, this color so the decal because it's a little bit net I need to add like a clear coat to it so it gives it a little bit shiny so I'm just going to drag this color I made and just drag it to the to all the decals to make it shiny a little bit and if I go back into my appearance mode and I'm just going to pull pull this out a little bit and oh so let me right click and delete all on use appearance and I guess I want to delete because I added it six times I guess it was putting all those appearance in so I'm going to delete it and I'm just going to grab this same appearance and add it to those decal again add it to that add it to this add it to that one and add it to this one and that is pretty much how I um, made this and if I let it sit a little bit and it's pretty much done then the next thing I did is just render it out so I just click on render browse to the file location pick the file name browse to the file location 1920 by 1080 and I will since this has glass material, I'm going to do 3000 pass and I just click start render and that's the workflow I used to make it and I would show you what the result looks like um, when I'm done. Thank you and feel free to leave a comment if you like it or if there's anything I could have done to improve it. Thank you and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.